How's it going everyone? My name is Graham. Welcome to Graham Games. This is a game. <laughs> Today I'm playing Just Ignore Them, Bria's Story, Tape 1, a prequel to 2017's Just Ignore Them, a fairly well-known point-and-click horror game in the indie scene, but especially in like the online Let's Play world. I got caught up in the series like a year or two ago. It's a little bit hit and miss overall, but it's overall like engaging enough and interesting enough to want to come back to. So I'm, I'm quite interested in seeing how the story is developed. Basically every game has been better than the last. Just Ignore Them was like the first one. Maybe it was like a little iffy here and there, but overall it's been cool and they all tied together in neat ways. Jason, and hopefully I, I someday plan to play all of them and like put together a video on the full larger story because there's some crazy stuff going on. Jason, you home? I guess he's still at work. So obviously this game's gonna follow along with Bria, a character who meets up with Mark like halfway through, just ignore them, and it follows the two of them, but that's primarily Mark's story. And we get to flush out Bria a little. Yep, otherwise he'd be plastered here in front of the TV. I might order some takeout, but first a smoke. Been hanging for one, been hang, hanging, hankering for one all afternoon. Now, where did I leave them? Presumably in the TV. I bet he lost the remote again. One of the first things I think in Just Ignore Them is like a little bit of a jump scary sort of thing going on with the TV. So it's fun thematically to like tie that in again. There's something hypnotizing about that blue screen. I don't want to talk to it. Can't use anything on it. I can't do anything with it. My bonsai, the key to my sanity. Yes, my baby, if you die, so does Jason. But maybe actually, especially if he uses my clippers to cut his toenails again. Who is he, Frank Reynolds? What, what a disgusting way to be. Dump him. Telephone is a save point. It's an empty fridge, typical. The only thing that's on here is the phone number for Tanto's Chinese restaurant. Cold soup. <sighs> Looks like we're getting takeout. You can just heat it up. That's one option. Maybe you shouldn't have left it out on the counter, though, if that's what you wanted. It's a sink. This joke's getting old, Strang. <laughs> I think you can interact with the sink in, like, every one of the games, and it never means anything. It's been a while since I've played them, but, like, that sounds correct hey that's where i left them behind my not in the mug you're not going to use some like half soaked cigarette that you doused in your mug that's kind of what i was expecting and i was gonna be like incredibly judgmental about it like absolutely <laughs> well you could open it that's like one thing you could do with the door there's like a very limited list of things i see nothing special about it there usually aren't special things with doors it's th they're you know, pretty, pretty basic objects, standard functions, but maybe I could, I could light the cigarette. All right. Then I, then I have no idea. My plan was to just go outside. Oh, there's another door. I could have a, have a nice little smoke in my bedroom. Do you know what? Stranga's pixel art has gotten phenomenally better. It's looking really, really good these days, but still staying kind of within their style. It's, it's neat seeing the ways that's progressed. It's a box full of Jason's stuff. Just some old movies and his lighter. There we go. Finally got ourselves a copy of Airbud. <laughs> I don't need to change. It's full of my clothes. That's pretty well expected, isn't it? I'll take one soon. Bath and shower needs a good cleaning. Well, that's that'd be a great way to start the game off. I see nothing special about it. I don't need to use it. Filthy. That's on you. I think it's something you could be in charge of and take take care of. Can't sleep on an empty stomach. Nice and neat. It's so, like one thing in your entire place that you take care of then apparently. It's full of cigarette butts. Well, how, how about we just like smoke? There we go. Just a quick one before dinner. Another day, another disaster, and another dead lead. So much for local big shot journalist, Brianna Tina. <sighs> you sure picked it, Bia. Your successful career. Does she nicknaming herself 
Bria is always sh already short for Brianna, and we're shortening it again to, to Bia. Zero consistency with her nickname. <laughs> you could have been a doctor or a model. Nope. You just had to be the only journalist in this boring ass town. And all because your stupid ass boyfriend talked you into it. I'm pretty sure this takes place in Ashen Pines, I think is the is the name of it. And it's another game in the series, one I haven't played. And it, yeah, it's, it's another one I'll have to get around to. God damn it, Jason. Why do I still love you? Yeah, good question. Dump him. Get rid of him. It's problem solved. I feel like Chinese food. I'd better order some before I take a shower. Now, where did I put the phone number? Well, lucky for you. I already figured it out. If I leave the door open, I'll burn out the motor. Besides, opening and closing it won't make food appear. Well, I want the number. The number's what I want. Tanto's takeaway. I kind of just want, like, an option to, like, exit. Exit that interaction menu. Use phone. Ooh, what a novel idea. Chinese Monday, here we come. Yes, hello. I'd like to order... Probably some ginger beef. That's what I'd go for. Okay, see you in an hour. Bye. No delivery tonight. I have to go get it? I could use the walk anyway. Oh, I need a shower. <laughs> it's, a, it's a phone, all right. It, like, after I interact with something and it plays out those sequences, then I'm, like, still stuck in an interaction menu. And I don't want to be. I want to just go do the next thing. He'd better not be using my conditioner again. This is also a weird thing in the original Just Ignore Them, that there was, like... A weird amount of attention paid to this character in the shower. What the heck is that? A ghost? Boo! Jason, this is Jason? He's, uh, he's looking a little worse for wear. Jason? Hey, hey babe. <laughs> this weird little Slimer ghost. You sack of sh- What's for dinner? A foot sandwich. A foot sandwich? Yeah, my foot up your buns. I'll just check the fridge. Got like ass ketchup for a for a boyfriend. Ass ketchup. Spying on us in the shower. What a slob. Spooking us with a sheet, I guess, is what was going on there. Yo, Bea. Okay, apparently that's a secondary nickname. Some consistency restored. The fridge is empty. Yeah, I figured that out. I know, I ordered dinner. Nice, what are we having? Tantos. Chinese food? Nice, babe. God, this guy's a douche. Doesn't even look like he has a shirt on. Unless he's wearing a skin-colored shirt under his, like, jacket or whatever. <laughs> we just have to go get it. Does that include me? Yes, you want to eat too, don't you? Yes, babe. Come on, let's start walking. Should be ready by the time we get there. Lazy, lazy bones. Did I forget anything? Yeah, you forgot to dress back up as a ghost. Come on, Jason. Yes, babe. I'm just gonna wait out the front, babe. 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 <sighs> you useless sack. A faucet? Why is there a faucet outside? Fair, whatever, okay. Yes, babe? <laughs> Look at him. Sitting there all smug. You miserable worm. Checking me out, huh? Ugh, please. I like you because you look like a dork. Thanks, babe. <laughs> what a what a wonderfully honest relationship they have. Don't steal the sign, bae. Is it supposed to be like bae? I'm just going to start saying bae because I hate saying bia. I <laughs> wasn't going to take it. Sure you weren't. Damn. How did he know? <laughs> what a strange thing to decide to, to steal. We could take another smoke just for fun. I could use a smoke, but I guess not right now. You could, but you won't. There's a semblance of responsibleness going on there, I suppose. Oh. Ooh. This character might be one of the ones from My Big Sister or Ashida the Red Witch. I'm not going to remember their names well enough to know for sure, but it's possible. I can't do anything with it. Order your food. 
is the main thing I want you to do. Can you please stop staring at me? Zombie. That might have been one of the characters, I think. Doc, welcome to Tantos. What can I get ya? I'm here to pick up my order. Don't I know you from somewhere? Yeah, I was here last week when you ordered. Oh, right. Stupid. Same place for the same reason. I never would have connected those two <laughs> events. I'm here to pick up my order. Briatina. Just one moment. It looks like the spring rolls will just be a few more minutes. <sighs> Worth it. No problem. I'll just wait outside. After I ruffle through everything in your restaurant. I gotta stop using interact before look. Tonight's special is the sweet and sour pork. Oh, I can't just interrupt this random couple's dinner. <laughs> I guess that would be rather strange of me to do. But I was, I was curious. I want to know what they're up to. Let's share your secrets. Yes, babe? Get off the crate. Babe, my ass is killing me. I need to sit down. That seems like it would make it worse, you fool. If I sit on it more, I'll numb it. Hence no pain. You're an idiot. If you've got a better idea, then let's hear it. Come inside and do something useful. Nah, I want to get some fresh air. I've been stuck in the editing room all day. Even skipped lunch. How's the footage? You look great, babe. It was just... I suck, don't I? Nah, Bay, you're a great reporter. Cut the crap, Jason. You're not going to make any headlines around here. We're, we're not going to. This town is boring. These people are boring. I'm boring. Exactly. I wasn't funny, babe. Sorry, Jason, but you see my point? I do. You know, the station's been laying off more and more staff every day. My guess is we're next if we don't get any new material. Maybe we can scare people into watching our news reports? Like, bait them in somehow? I don't want to cause unnecessary panic just for a news story. We're not scum, Jason. I know, Bay, but... Some, is Bay worse? Bay's worse. I'm going back to Bia. <laughs> but something tells me that's the direction news is heading anyway. <sighs> Who am I kidding? I just want to give up. Don't be like that, Bia. You'll find that good story eventually. You want a, a soda or something? Sure, babe. I'll see what they have. Might be a, a little late for that. Maybe I'll just feed him some soda right out of that outdoor faucet. <laughs> what can I get you? Can I get a couple of sodas? Sure, I'll just add it to your order. Yum, yum, generic soda. <laughs> if I walked into a, anywhere and said I wanted a soda, and they just handed me some without asking what flavor, I would be a little bit perturbed. Here you go, buddy. Thanks, babe. Listen, I may have a surprise for you when we get home. Jason, this isn't like you. Unless it's something stupid again. Nah, this is much more serious. I may have found you a good story. Come on, really? Remember the last story you got for me? This one involves a murder. Now you have my attention. Come on, spill the beans. Where? Who? I'll tell you after dinner. I don't want to spoil our appetite. Ooh, gruesome, eh? Just you wait, babe. I'm sure this will be the one. I hope so. Order for Briatina. Oh, that's me. I'll be back in a sec, babe. Jason, in case you forgot what my name is. That's me. This order is mine. Did she just call me, babe? So, tell me more about this lead of yours. Huh? Oh, right. The lead. We're only into Jason for his dorky looks and his promising leads. How would you like to cover a murder? We've, we've established that part already. Um, yes. Geez, someone's excited about a murder. You don't understand. This could be our big break. We, don't, we won't be nobodies anymore. I can finally be an actual journalist. I thought you were already a journalist. Not with the stories that come out of this place. 
There's a catch though. It's out of state. So, road trip? You got it, Bay. Bia, Bay, I don't know anymore, man. The surprises just keep coming, don't they? You know it, Bia. I need to calm down. I'm getting too excited here. I'll be back, babe. Just going for a smoke. I really can, can, if you're like a small town local reporter, are you allowed to just like go out of your, I don't, I don't know. Do you have a jurisdiction? Can you just go do whatever you want? It kind of seems like that wouldn't be how it works. I can't believe it. I just can't. Finally, a good story. How did Jason of all people get it? Oh, well, I'm too excited anyway. That's it, hey, just all f fired up, just needed a hot second. Hey, dude, still got that address? Heck yeah, we're still going. Dude, she's never been this happy before. I think. I know, but... Really? No outsiders? What's the name of this place, anyway? Is this where we end up going? Where we meet, where Bria meets Mark? Ash Pines? Oh, so we're not there currently. Sounds like one of those towns in a horror movie. <laughs> Can you get us to get in? Can you get us to get in? Like, talk to the cops or something? Please. She really needs this. I haven't seen her this happy in a long time. You know what she's like, man. Please? Oh, come on. Very judgy. Poor Bria. Yes, dude. I owe you one. I'll pack our stuff tonight. Yes, we'll be careful. Trust me, this is going to be great for her. Jason? Gotta go, bro. Talk to you later. Thanks again. Who is that? Our ticket to success, babe. We leave in the morning. Start packing. I can't wait. I'm going to head to bed early. I'll pack in the morning. <laughs> I'm so excited I need to sleep. <laughs> hey, Bea, does that mean... Don't push your luck. Damn. Oh, well. Horny little Jason. Uh, come on, then. Yeah! <laughs> Getting lucky. Okay, I'm very glad they didn't attempt to animate that or anything. <laughs> Just having an awesome sleep together. Crushing the sleep. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so twisty and weird. That, like, weird long tube neck thing and the long hair. It's very... Typical of this franchise. Kuba. It's just kind of just like the country. Like how they say it locally. Brianna. I'll be waiting for you. Considering how chunky and limited the pixels are across this series and Stranga's art style... Their ability to make some pretty, like, twisted, weirdo creature designs is, like, quite impressive. I think that's where the demo for this would have ended. I'm playing the full version, so I'm guessing we get to keep going. And this is labeled as being, like, tape one. So it's like there's a demo for this part one of what is presumably going to be a larger series that is a prequel to a game that is a part of a larger series. The interwovenness of Stranka's games is a little hard to keep up with. So, where are we going? Some place called Ash Pines. Never heard of it, to be straight with you. I have. I've been there before. Yeah? When? When I was young, Mom used to take me there. We'd sit by the lake and catch tadpoles. Oh, sounds nice. Wish I did stuff like that with my mom. Why? What did you do? The Italian family was either cleaning, helping my dad build stuff, or taking a beating. Those flip-flops leave marks. Sounds brutal, dude. <laughs> nah, Mom was always right, you know. I pulled my head in, got a decent job, and found a nice girl. Well, thanks, babe. <laughs> and then uh, things didn't really work out, and I had to settle for you instead. Besides, you should have seen the girl Mom tried setting me up with. She had a bigger mustache than mine. It's not nice, Jason. I'm sure she was a lovely girl. If you say so, Bia. So, what are we going to do once we get there? Well, I booked us a motel just on the edge of town. Once we get there, I'll give you the lowdown on what we're investigating. 
We're also meeting an informant later this afternoon. How exciting. Almost there, babe. My butt hurts so bad. What is with your butt, man? I think you should go see a doctor for like this chronic pain you're having. Or a priest to exercise the butt demon that's clearly taken hold of you. <laughs> We've only been driving for a few hours, Jason. What was with that roadblock earlier? Not sure, but it was nice of the cops to let us into town. Did you book our room? It's a weird thing to exclude that scene and simply mention it. Yeah, just gotta check in. Want me to do it? I, I do. <laughs> so far from what I've seen, you don't really carry your weight, so I would love if you would. But I'll do it. Need to stretch my legs. Okay, babe. I just got here. I just want to inspect it. Nothing special about it. No need to be so hard on your wonderful van. Oh, I, I, can't, I can't interact with Jason, which is kind of weird, kind of funny. Hmm. Oh, I thought she was dancing. It's a broom. thought that was her legs flinging around over there. I see nothing special about it. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be so real and so cruel. Just looking at you. Mm, no, this man, not special. I can tell. Excuse me, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure, what's up? I'm Bria Tina. I'm a journalist working on a story about Ash Pines. A journalist? I suppose I can answer a few questions, but I don't really know much about Ash Pines. Yeah, asking about a local place at a motel is like the worst way you could start. Bria, you might not be a great journalist. Any information is good information. If you don't mind me asking, of course. Not at all. Fire away. So, Ash Pines. The world's most open-ended question. <laughs> There's not much to be honest with you. My wife and I only just arrived here a few days ago. We're on our honeymoon. How did you find out about this place? I found a brochure for it a while back in a gas station just outside of town. Your own town, I assume. I figure you don't mean here. <laughs> you happen to be just outside of town, see a brochure for that town and think, I gotta go there. Gorgeous looking town, might I add, from what I've seen so far. <laughs> I hope that Stranger patting himself on the back for like improved pixel art. I agree, a town in the woods sounds like a fantasy. And now we're just springing straight to the murders. I haven't heard about any murders. What, what are you talking about? I, my apologies, it's it's nothing. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> wow, we've really ruined this man's vacation, I feel. <laughs> that was quite an aggressive leap to take. I guess we'll just jump straight. What are you looking at, lady? Oh, nothing. Uh, finally, someone reacted to being looked at. Yes, can I help you? I'm Briatina. I'm sorry, honey. I'm a little busy to chat right now. How long have you been working here? What are you, a reporter? Um, well... Yes. Oh, really? Can I be on TV? Maybe. Can you answer a few questions? So long as it hasn't got anything to do with my job. Fair enough. Uh, wh what? What? <laughs> the only things that we're going to add. I'm Bria. Tell me about your job. I don't want to talk about my job. Oh, good. I'm actually here to report on the town. But I'm not going to ask you questions about that. That was the most useful, useless bit of branching dialogue I've ever encountered. I don't understand at all. <laughs> Why am I looking at trash? Because you're a hard-boiled detective who apparently talks to trash, but also is just trying to get to the bottom of things. And for some reason, that seemed like a good way to start. Uh, I, 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 I'm not trying to smoke an ATM machine. I'm just trying to fly through <laughs> options. Oh, your, your movement really slows down if you try and, like, move diagonally. It's, like, weirdly a little, a little choppy. Damn, the pool's been drained. Why did I even pack my bikini? That is heart-wrenching. Heartbreaking. I should definitely offer a discount, because, like, why else do people even stay at motels? And I'm dead serious. The utility room. I didn't realize until it was too late that's where I was trying to walk into. Yeah, probably not where I'm meant to go to, like, check into this place. Honestly, I, I don't know where I am meant to go. Hmm, there's an open sign over here, but we're, you know, it's like the darkest, dankest corner of the world over here. 
the, the whole, even the inside of it's a little, a little quiet as well. Can I help you? Giovanni. What are you looking at? Is this guy, he's another Italian, presumably. Is a relate relative of Jason? Is this who put him on to the story of the murders? Hey there, welcome to the Ash Pines Motor Inn. How can I help you, lady? My boyfriend booked us a room? Sure, what's the name? Tina? Ah, Tina, got your key right here. I got you both booked for seven days. Seven days, geez, in room two. And your credit card's been processed, so y'all good to go. Continental breakfasts included with room service and the cables free. But anything past channel 11 ain't safe for kids. Wow, that is not many channels to go through before you accidentally stumble onto the pornography. <laughs> Have a nice day. Thanks. It seems like there's not a lot of protection going on there for, for the, the kitties. Can you tell me anything about Ash Pines? What's there to tell? Just a boring old town populated by weird people. Weird people? I'm intrigued. I can tell this is your first time in Ash Pines, little lady. Actually, I've been here before, a long time ago. I don't go into town much since I've been running the motel. My advice? Keep it to yourself around here. Certain things cannot be trusted. You mean people? People can't be trusted? Right, right. People. Yeah. What else could I have meant? Thanks for the tip. Goodbye. And as per usual, pardon me while I just kind of <laughs> wander around your establishment. It's an old radio. Ah, the old static box as I call it. The stations around here get pretty boring. Typical boring down, I tell ya. The static helps me get through the long nights. Heard it helps keep the wildlife away, too. I like sleeping with white noise. S grating static is not what I would want. It's a bunch of pamphlets for various takeaway restaurants and attractions. I don't need one of these right now, but you might. I'm, I'm not trying to, like, start a fire here or anything. Oh, but maybe I'm trying to start a fire here. This is a pretty big fireplace. Uh, big enough to burn a body in it. <laughs> As I always say, not a weird thing. Don't read into it. Why are you telling me this? I just like to mess with tourists from time to time. Okay, we're hitting our weird quota for people immediately. No wonder this place is empty. Well, I would like to attempt to light it. As tempting as that is, I'm sure the owner wouldn't like me doing that. Damn straight, lady. Never light the fireplace. It's our number one rule. How can he see me from there? Good question. I was actually wondering that myself. And can't, can't interact with the TV. Well, Jason, you ready for a, a week we'll never forget? It's going to be ripping wild crazy, I tell ya. I shouldn't go barging into rooms. You should go opening them using a keycard because you've paid for the privilege of staying there. Finally, let's interact. Wow, I can't wait to see... Oh, it's uh, a dump. Honestly, it's about as nice as your apartment. I'm not sure what you're complaining about. If anything, the things look cleaner. There's still a, an unsettling amount of brown pixels inside the toilet bowl. So it's got that, just like our apartment. As long as you're willing to acknowledge that you also live in squalor. You can't really judge from up high when you're like on an even playing field there. So what do we think? I'll take that as a yes. Sorry, babe. It was the best I could afford. It's okay, Jason. I, I know I should be a little more grateful. Besides, we're covering a real murder mystery. I can't wait to get a start on investigating. Well, for now, just investigate the parking lot. I've got more bags to carry in. You need any help? Nah, I'll be fine. You go explore, babe. Ah, uh, maybe Jason's not totally useless. Yo, Bia! They have those little fancy soaps I like. Please don't steal anything. You have a ton of them at home already. Can't make any promises, babe. I would have loved if at the beginning of the game you, like, discovered a box full of little mini soaps. 
buttermilk, honey. You're coming home with me. <sighs> Ooh, the old static box. Can't wait to listen to that. Seems to be stuck on one station. There's a warning on the side. Leave radio set to this station. Used to keep the wildlife away. Must have a bad pest problem. That's kind of unnerving. I like it. Can't do anything with it. Nothing special about it. I would love to interact with the sink, but he's blocking me. Nothing special. Never mind. I can just plow straight through him and do what I want. Yep, a plain old sink. I see nothing special. <laughs> oh, more sinks left to interact with. Just you wait. I can't do anything with it. Dang, what a shame. There it is. Jason's secret lover. Just please keep it clean. You say something, babe? No, babe. It is a little weird to just be talking to yourself while inspecting a very average hotel room. I guess we should acknowledge that. There's a note on the fridge. To all the guests, the phone in the room is to contact front desk only. For outgoing calls, please use the payphone located in front of reception. I, I guess I just go poke around the parking lot some more. I've, I've kind of already talked to everyone though, so I don't really know what will what will be new. Is there anything additional to, to bring up? Maybe I, I got this little bit of branching dialogue a, a little early. So if I just kind of skip through and maybe there will be a new thing. No. All right, new new person, new person arrived, hanging out by the pool, barge our way into the utility room, just uh, unannounced, just do whatever we please, that's always an option. I feel as though I shouldn't just barge into Rando's rooms, but uh, <laughs> there's not a lot of other options. Old tires, I don't think that'll fit in my inventory. You considered it though. <laughs> Just a bunch of dusty old tires. There's a lot of cobwebs. Yuck. Spiders. Maybe we just rock a quick smoke just to like chill out for a minute? No, not feeling it, hey? I mean, I could try to make a call. I don't think there's many... <laughs> Why would I call the takeout place? I tried to, it actually wouldn't let me. Nothing special about it. There's... There was, wasn't really anywhere else I could go. Hey, uh, Miss Tina? Yes, you've got a visitor. A, a visitor? <laughs> I feel just like a prison guard. Hello, Miss Tina. My name is Maggie Winters. I spoke to your boyfriend on the phone this morning. Oh, you must be our, uh, yes, your tour guide. <laughs> Don't mind me, miss. Didn't hear nothing. It's not that crazy of a conversation to uh, eavesdrop on, but I respect that you're pretending to not be listening. <laughs> Right. Anyway, I'm here to show you around the town. So, where's... Jason, is it? Oh, he's bringing in our bags. Come on, I'll introduce you to him. Be aware, he's a bit of a bonehead. Rude, speaking to your partner like that when they're not present. Hey, Jace, I think I found your informant. Hello, I'm Maggie Winters. W well, hello, Miss Winters. I know that look. Watch yourself, Jason. Jeez, just openly like checking out this girl in front of you? What a sleaze, he's back to being shitty boyfriend. Ah, so you're Jason. We spoke on the phone this morning? I sure am. Great, I just wanna thank you guys for helping me with this story. Who's helping who here? <laughs> My agency really doesn't like me meddling too much with murder cases. How come? I believe there's something very wrong with this town, Miss Tina. So maybe she's a local journalist and, like, is being told not to investigate. Ash Pines hasn't been the same for as far as I can remember, right down to my childhood. This story needs to be made public for the whole world to see. It sounds like this is something quite personal to you. Oh, it is, Miss Tina. The murder that you both will be assisting me with happened over 25 years ago. 25 years? I thought it was fresh, not some cold case. Jason, did you know? No wonder the guy outside had no idea what we were talking about. Kinda? Please, Miss Tina. 
I believe there are things that are unnatural at play here. Unnatural. Yes, I don't have any other explanation. Explanation. <laughs> That's me fumbling on my words, not some character trait I tried to assign. Now that's more like it. A ghost story. I'm sorry, Miss Tina, but I, I don't believe in ghosts. I never used such a word. So why cover a story over 25 years old? It seems a bit redundant, don't you think? Redundant? Have uh, Do you not listen to any podcasts, Jason? Jeez, it's all the rage. The residents of Ash Pines are covering something up. Something big. Something that I can't explain, but... I want to. Anyhow, before we go over the details, I guess I don't remember when this series takes place. I think, I think Just Ignore Them starts when Mark is a kid and then it fast forwards to when he's an adult and that's when him and Bria meet and that's close to, if not like literally present time. So this is probably quite close to present time. Do you two drink coffee? I know the best diner in town. I practically live off the stuff. I'm more of a juice drinker myself. Do you think they would have that? It's a little exotic. Juice? It's called? Just getting the pronunciation right. I, I'm sure they'd have juice. Oh, God damn it, Jason. Great, let's go. Who knows, maybe one time he went somewhere that didn't have juice and he's, he's always thought to ask ever since. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. I didn't think Chris would find some actual reporters. Chris, our editor? Yeah, he's the one who gave us the story. Wait, we're doing this officially? It really kind of seemed like Jason had pulled this together. And what did he mean by actual reporters? You're real reporters, aren't you? I'm the journalist. Jason's my cameraman. And boyfriend, I might add. <sighs> Unfortunately. Hey, I hate that. I hate that kind of joke. This is boomer humor to joke around about like, I sure do hate my spouse or my partner. Great. I'm a bit of a journalist myself. I have a column in the Ash Pines local paper. It's mostly just obituaries and small things like fundraisers. I wish I had a more exciting job like you two. Our job only got exciting when you contacted us. Speaking of which, let's talk about the story. Right, let's go over some of the details. The victim, her name was Claire Summerfield. She was found dead in her bedroom September 4th, 1981. And that was 25 years ago, so this is 2006? Okay, so we're like a little bit in the past here, right? According to the police report, she was stabbed multiple times in the abdomen and once in the neck. Was anyone arrested? Yes, one man was arrested a month later following a witness report with substantial evidence. Then, why exactly are we going after a story that's already been solved? B because I know he's innocent. Who's innocent? It was my dad. Your dad? You may be a little close to the story there, Maggie. I know he's innocent. I just need to prove it. Did Claire have any family? The only family I recall she had was a small boy whose name I can't remember. Mark? No, maybe, yes, could be. <laughs> Her husband, Robert Summerfield, went missing a year before the murder. You can't remember the son's name? No one does. There's no record of his name in any of the police reports that I could find. That's odd. Incredibly odd. Especially being the victim's son? You'd think they'd have a record of it somewhere. I know, right? I'm sure we can help. Right, Bea? I hope you're using your brain up there, Jason. I'm being serious, babe. You're right. We'll try. But... Just re remember, we're here for the story. Our jobs are on the line as it is. Please understand. Y yes, of course. I know of a few places where you could start your investigation. The Ash Pines Police Department. You can find one of my informants there. He goes by the name of Vice. 
cool cool name. It's spelt exactly the way you wouldn't expect. There's also St. Memoria's Hospital downtown. I've been trying to get the autopsy report for years now. Who do we see about it? What's the nurse's name? That's very strange that that bit of dialogue didn't come up. Amy Taore. It's so many vowels in such an un unexpected order. I say that as someone whose name has a lot of vowels in an unexpected order that's more or less in line with that. So perhaps I, I shouldn't speak to it. I have a few more, but those two should give you a good start. And what about you? How can we contact you? You can give me a call on this number. It's, it's just like seven nines. We'll meet up here every morning so we can go over what we found. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Bia? Sure. Great. Thank you both again. This means a lot to me. And don't worry about the coffee and juice. It's on me. Whew. Glad she saved us that, like, three bucks. Well, Jason? Hmm? What do you think? I think I'm gonna order pancakes. You want anything, babe? Not that. About this whole case. I wouldn't think too much about it, Bia. Our jobs are on the line as it is. Nothing happens at home, and this is the best story we have. So far. Look on the bright side. <laughs> Look on the bright side. What could go wrong? I got a chill when you said that. Come on, Jason. Let's go. Just jump in the van when you're ready. I want to finish up my OJ. I want to talk to everyone I can. Need something, hun? I'm fine. Thanks. Can't talk now. Have things to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a little weird to approach the counter just to tell people you have no interest. I don't need to go. Besides, this is the men's. Ugh. Oh, but we're just going to go in anyways. Didn't expect that. Already washed my hands. How exactly? It's disgusting. I, the fact that I can go in here makes me think there would be a reason. Like something of interest. Like someone wrote their confession on the bathroom stall. <laughs> Empty cubicle and it stinks. Well, apparently there's no reason. But maybe if I go into the women's... Then I'll like, because I, I, the player, can see both sides. Maybe something would appear over there that I could then follow up on. No need to go. Does it stink, though? Doesn't stink. That's a nice change. <laughs> Nothing but trash. All right. Well, glad I spent that time <laughs> doing that. <laughs> Can't do anything. Nothing special. <laughs> so mean. And can't talk. Oh, I could like fast travel. I kind of, I wasn't really planning. All right, that worked. <laughs> I didn't expect that when I was like selecting menu options. It's uh, pretty convenient actually. The Ash and Pines Police Department. Hello, hello there, Jenny. Is it, is it what, what a nurse joy officer Jenny is that Pokemon I can't recall how can I help you ma'am excuse me I'm looking for officer vice my name is Briatina I'm doing a story on ash pines oh it's just ash not ashen you're not with that crazy redhead Maggie are you well do me a favor tell her to just give up there was just too much evidence against her dad please we're just here to speak to office office vice <laughs> well you're in luck he's just in the room to your right thank you hmm pretty unexpected to just give someone unfettered access to an officer just like that just, you'd think there would be some like roadblocks you know <laughs> things in the way it's an empty whiteboard that's because nothing interesting ever happens in this town well, th why is there like a cue scribbled on it or something just trying to understand Putting all the pieces together. <laughs> hmm? Can, can I help you? I like giving people the stare first. Putting them off edge. Off their game. My name is Briatina. I'm a journalist. A journalist. I didn't know that Ash Pines was a hot spot for prime journalism. So, what are you doing here, Miss Tina? I'm here to report on the murder of Claire Summerfield. Summerfield? 
You're about 20 years too late, Miss Tina. I know, I'm trying to... This wouldn't have anything to do with Miss Winters, would it? Maggie. Uh, look, Maggie's a sweet girl, but she needs to move on. I mean, I sympathize with her, I really do. I can't imagine what she's been going through for the last 20 years. Then, why don't you help her? I tried, we all have. You can't just let a murderous man go free. Are you sure he's the killer? What is this? A horror movie? He was convicted and locked away. Heck, this happened 20 years ago. I was still in high school. Ooh, that's weird to think. The bold seem to be getting closer toward disappointment. I'm sure she's already explained this all to you. Otherwise, why would you be here? Maybe you're hiding something. <laughs> You were in school back at the time? Sounds like a, a convenient alibi. <laughs> You're right. These milk chocolates, they're mine. Before you start asking... What? <laughs> I, how did I lose track of this conversation so quickly? <laughs> I meant about the case. Was there anything missing from the report? Nothing that I was aware of. If there was anything missing, you probably wouldn't be aware of it, and that would be why it's missing. <laughs> what about the child? Why wasn't there a name filed with the report? According to the report, they searched the entire premise, pre premises and <laughs> didn't find squat. Then why did Mankey, men Ma Mankey <laughs> mention a child? Apparently a witness saw someone leave the house with a child earlier that day. That could have been anyone's kid. So no coincidence. Who knows? That's what was in the initial report. So, what evidence did you have on Maggie's father? Well, you know, the, uh, the police. You, collectively, not you. According to the report, prints all over the crime scene and murder weapon. Which was? A kitchen knife. However, I remember something really bugged me about that report. It mentioned something about multiple stab wounds. I think 12, maybe more? It's been a while since I've read the darned thing, though. What's so strange about that? Well, if I remember correctly, the autopsy stated that they were all inflicted at the same time. How is that possible? There was only one knife? That seems like the sort of thing an autopsy wouldn't necessarily be able to determine... I don't know, maybe. Maybe it has something to do with, like, blood flow and, like... <laughs> I don't know. It's intriguing. And I won't read into the realism. <laughs> My memory is a little foggy. Sorry. It's been a long time since I've seen that report. Is it possible to speak to Maggie's father? Sure, if you can find him. He was transferred out of state a few years back. Not sure what's happened to him since. Is there any records of where he was transferred to? Unfortunately, no. The station ransacked late last year. Weapons, equipment, and even documents were all stolen in the process. That's strange. <laughs> Whoever it was did a very thorough job of it, too. That sounds like an investigation all of its own that you guys should maybe take a little more seriously. You mentioned multiple stab wounds. Could that mean there were multiple assailants? Man, there are so many typos in this game. <laughs> in this series, I should say. Well, if there were more... We would have found more prints. Is there any reason Maggie would be so persistent in proving her father's innocence? Well, prior to the murder, her father had a pretty clean record. I think the worst thing he had was an outstanding parking ticket. Isn't that a little suspicious? Listen, just between you and me, the officer who arrested her father wasn't entirely convinced either. Who was it? He's retired now. But his name is Dave Kagami. Senior. Senior. He has a son with the same name? Nailed it. <laughs> I haven't seen him in years, though. You'll have to look up an address book if you want to find him. Can't give that info out, I'm afraid. Sure. And Ash Pines in general? What can I say? It's a small, boring town. As sad as it was, that murder was the only exciting thing to happen in Ash Pines. Thea, it's a little like a little cheery to leave the conversation on. I think. Oh, I just wanted to sneak, see what kind of snacks they had in their vending machine. 
I would say that didn't bring together many pieces for us. Just confirmed, I guess, that several people have their own suspicions that maybe things weren't all quite as they seemed. Everywhere, everywhere has an, uh, an ashtray. And I don't think I can, like, do anything with it most of the time. Hmm. Yeah, just kind of there in case, in case I want it, I guess. And again, I'm probably not going to have many people to talk with here. Since we were kind of only given the two locations and then Maggie was like, you know, I'll tell you more later. I'm guessing the tape, this tape one of this Bria story is only going to contain like these two areas for now. Hmm? I didn't mean to stare her down numerous times. Hi, I'm looking for a nurse. Is this your first time visiting Ash Pines Hospital? If so, please fill out a form. No, no, I'm fine. I don't want to do that. I'm here looking for a nurse. Amy Terror Gray? Are you family? No, I, I just wanted to ask her if you... She's in the door, just to your right. So I don't have to fill out a form. Doesn't matter if I'm family. Whatever. Wow, Stacy just does not care. Just sent us back into like a break room. Uh, hello? Huh? Oh! I, I'm sorry, but this area is off limits to the public. Did Stacy just let you right back here? That's absolutely not how this works. <laughs> You'll have to wait until the doctor is ready for you. Oh, I'm not here to see a doctor. I'm here to see a nurse called Amy? N me? I haven't done anything wrong, have I? I swear it wasn't mine, whatever it is. Calm down. You were referred... We were referred to you by Maggie. Oh, well, what does she want? We're investigating the murder of Claire Summerfield, and... And you were hoping to get the autopsy report, right? I've told Maggie hundreds of times. I can't access those records. Also, I think they usually do those at, like, a mortuary or, like, a sp special forensic... Like, they don't do that at the hospital, do they? I don't know. <laughs> Could depend. Could be because it's like a small town. She knows everything that was on that report. Why is she still persistent in seeing it? Was there anything odd about the report? I don't know, to be honest with you. I've never actually seen it. The only reason I know about it is because Dr. Lynch never shuts up about it. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's a reference to David Lynch who did, like, Mulholland Drive and Twin Peaks and stuff, which, like, Ash Pines and the whole concept takes, like, small influences from, I would say that's very, very likely. Really? Did he do the autopsy? I doubt it. The murder happened, like, 20 years ago or something? Do you know who did? No, obviously not. Why would she? You're better off talking to the doctor about it. Do you know when he'll be back? He just took a lunch break. He should be back in 15 minutes. But if you want to see him, you'll have to make an appointment. He's pretty booked out today. But the waiting room was empty. Actually, now that I think about it, the entire hospital seemed empty. I'm sorry, but you'll have to leave now. Staff only. No more questions. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Okay, we'll, we'll be in touch. What are you, cops or something? No, just reporters. Thank you for your time. I guess. Not that we were treated very well or given much to work with. So, that was a waste of time. I wonder if I could have done them in the other order. And if I still would have, like, it would have skipped ahead to nighttime like this, you know? She's hiding something. How can you tell? The clues were there, Jason. You had to be there to see. The doctor's appointments were all booked out, but there wasn't anyone in the waiting room. But something struck me. This Dr. Lynch... Why was he so worried about the autopsy? So what's the plan, babe? Sneak in and steal the reports? As much as I'd love to. We just got into town. I don't want to be causing a stir for us just yet. True, besides, that motel wasn't cheap. By the look of those rooms, I hope he's being sarcastic. Speaking of the motel, we should head back. It's getting late. Sure. Let's grab something to eat and head back. You read my mind, Bia. Curly fries, here we come. Dude, no way. A dog driving a bus. <laughs> Is he stoned or something? Just mowing curly fries and watching cartoons? Babe, you gotta come see this. 
Not now, Jason. I'm calling Maggie. There's something she's not telling us, and I want to find out what... God damn, you crazy dog. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, Bea, say something? No, babe, just go back to watching your trash. There's no dial tone. You can't call out, you know? Gotta go to reception. Well, why didn't you say something before? Because it says it right there on the fridge. God damn it. I, I think I just skipped dialogue or something. It didn't pop up properly. I saw a payphone outside. I'll be back soon. K okay, babe. Ooh, three is all shut out. No one's staying in three, maybe? It's all dark and spooky out here. I like the look of it. The nighttime palette and everything is cool. Some like nice lighting. I just want to like scope, scope around. It's funny that you can still call the takeout place. Uh, hello? Maggie speaking. Hi, Maggie. I just have a few questions I need to ask. Is that all right? Oh, right. Yes, please ask away. Any news on your end? I think I found something. I'll discuss it with you both tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. I spoke with the nurse. Did you get the autopsy report? No, unfortunately. Where is that damned thing? I've searched everywhere and still nothing. You haven't broken into the hospital to steal, have you? I've tried, but for a boring, empty place, they keep it locked up tight. I was hoping to do everything legally. Sorry, Bria, but... I'm running out of ideas. I don't want to have to do anything extreme, but we may not have a choice. Are you okay? Yes? I, I'm fine. Why do you ask? I just want to make sure is all. Okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow? Sorry, Maggie. I, I have to go make notes on today's interviews. Oh, no problem. We'll meet up in the morning at the diner. Sounds good. See you tomorrow. No time made. Morning can mean like 5 a.m., 7 a.m., 10 a.m. We gotta nail that shit down. You're gonna leave that up to random chance that we're gonna show up at the same time? It's just insane. Insane to me. <laughs> it is Tuesday, the 1st of September. Jason and I got a tip from our editor, Chris, about a cold case murder in Ash Pines. We met with our lead source, Maggie Winters. She gave us the lowdown on the case. Ooh, cool lingo. <laughs> the case is of her father being put on trial for the murder of Claire Summerfield. Key points thus far? I spoke to Officer Vice of the APPD. He gave me a brief overview of the case. Stab wounds to the chest and neck multiple times. Interesting note he pointed out is that he believes all wounds were inflicted at the same time, but was unsure as he has not seen the autopsy report in some time. Spoke to Amy Torre. That is a different spelling. That's a changed nurse at St. Remore's Hospital. Wasn't as helpful as I had hoped. She seemed hesitant to talk to me about the case. She suggested that I'd speak to a Dr. Lynch about the autopsy report. Strangely, he was booked for the day, but there was no one in the waiting room. Those are the only leads I have for now, but... Hmm. J Jace? Is that you? Just snoring away, right? Well, it definitely wasn't you. Did I... What are you hearing? I guess I can kind of hear something. The radio? There it goes again. A, a guy in... It's the radio. What's wrong with the soup? Hello? This damn thing work. Oh, dear guests, please remain calm. I'm speaking to you through the radio. Gee, who would have guessed? I apologize for the broadcast, but I want to remind you all to please leave your radio on throughout the night. Strange. It's nothing bad, I assure you. Just a, a problem with the wildlife again. They can't stand the static. All right, that is all. Have a good evening, folks. Do we need to, like, barricade ourselves in here? Like, no leaving? Wildlife. What animal would dislike the sound of static so much? Why did I add words to that sentence? I don't know. I guess any, any animal would, including humans like me. How can anyone sleep with that noise? 
<laughs> Don't turn it off. Snoring away, I stand corrected. Still, maybe I should take a look outside? Seems like a mistake, but I'm intrigued. <laughs> Perhaps in the pool. That's where I'd hang out if I was a weird, spooky, wildlife creature. Hmm. Someday. Someday I'll gain access to that. If I try often enough. Definitely the trash. Certainly don't want to touch that. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Hmm. Where did he go? Maybe I should look around. Well, I would assume he's, like, done for the day. It's got to take time off eventually. There's only one key on this whole rack. I wonder what it's for. Room three, I would assume. It's a key rack with only one key, the utility room key. But uh, why not? There you go. I was trying to take it repeatedly. Took a bit of convincing. Locked. We steal some cash while we're at it just cuz. Perhaps I light a fire just cuz. <laughs> That's like a funny thing where I, I think that interaction, like, forgot to kind of delete that interaction so he still, like, responds to it even though he's clearly not in the room or anything. Well, boy, howdy. Finally, finally get to see what's going on in here. My, my dreams have been answered. I hope no one will mind me breaking in. Yes, someone will mind. Obviously, someone will. Now, you be quiet, my little prince. You'll be safe here. No one will find you. What are you doing in here? This utility is for staff only. How did you unlock the door? I found the key. At Give me that. I I'm sorry. I was just looking for extra towels. Then you should have called reception. Oh, uh, Giovanni's not there. Bah, that damn fool, always leading his post. I swear that one of these nights he's gonna get it. Please go back to your room, miss. It's not safe out here after hours. Why not? I, I can't say. Just go back to your room, please. Okay, fine, I'm going. Please, more information I want to know. It's intriguing. <laughs> Do I just go to bed? I'm too tired to care about that right now. Confusing. Jason, shove over. Oh, too tired to care about the outside stuff. I thought you were too tired to care about the bed. Because that's kind of how you solve that. Oh, uh, 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 yes, babe. Sorry I'm late. I, I had a rough night. I was up looking for more information for you guys. Any luck? Yes, actually. It's not much, but it's something. It's about the doctor who did the autopsy. It was done by Dr. Dominic Carver. A, a doctor who's named Carver who does autopsies. How ironic or fitting. One of the two. <laughs> uh, there we go. Anything else? That's all, I'm afraid. I couldn't even find an address. Maybe we can squeeze some more info out of Dr. Lynch. Yeah, if he's available. <sighs> Hopefully. Why? Do you need an appointment to see him? Sure do. Only your informant mentioned he was booked up, because the waiting room was empty. Are they an informant if they're, like, like not really wi seemingly willing to help the case? That is strange. Maybe he wanted to leave early for the day? We waited out the front till dark. No sign of any doctors. You waited outside that whole time? I didn't really understand that with the time skip. Do you think they're hiding something? So what about Vice? Any new info from him? Nothing too unusual, except for one thing. Oh? He mentioned seeing something strange in the autopsy. Something about the victim being stabbed multiple times. That was on the report, but I already knew that. He thinks it said that all the wounds were inflicted at the same time. Which basically, like, if they could prove that then, like, how would any of this case have ever been considered solved, you know? <laughs> how, how is that possible? That means there would have had to have been multiple people. Or just one really fast stabbing dude? Just take it with a grain of salt, though. He said he hasn't seen the report in years. But this is a major breakthrough, if it's true. We need to get our hands on that autopsy report. Well, 
before any of us do anything drastic. Let's see if we can get it legally first. I, for one, don't want to be arrested on my first visit to Ash Pines. That's fine with me. Besides, I've already been caught too many times, so I'm on my last chance. I'm sure there's a way to get it out of the nurse. Just give me five minutes. One more word of that sentence and we're walking back to the motel. Pfft, fine. You? Probably you, not we. <laughs> That's not much of a threat if you say you'll both walk back. We need to speak to that doctor. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to see if I can chase up another lead I've been following. Another lead? Yes, I'm following up on Claire's son. If she ever had one. Vice told us about the reported child leaving the scene. Okay, let's meet back here tomorrow. Hopefully with some good news, too. Agreed. So, when do you want to start filming, babe? Not until we have more evidence, which by the looks of things is hard to come by. Well, if you like, take the van. I'll record some landscape shots for now. You don't want to come with me to the hospital? Nah, those places creep me out. Why? Have you not played any horror games? Those things are filled with ghosts and zombies. You're an idiot. Anyway, I'm gonna go. See you later, Bay. I think B B I don't care anymore. Doesn't matter. But if this takes place in like 06, is that what I had come up with? There probably wasn't that many games taking place in hospitals. Maybe. Maybe that was right at the advent of that. I feel like teleported out of there. I'm back. Maybe I can poke around a little bit more. Grab some tasty, tasty water. <laughs> With nothing special about it, as you would expect, as per usual. Just a, a repeat bathroom, although the men's has a note on the door that I want to inspect. I don't want to touch it, especially since it's in a public bathroom. There's a note on the door to whom, whom, whomever finds this note. Good luck finding anything around here. This hospital's an unorganized mess. It's like they don't give a damn about anything. Patients' files are missing, equipment is constantly stolen, and the only thing that's up to par with this place is the cleaning. Although apparently no one came and cleaned this and removed this note. This hospital isn't what it used to be, and I bet those things roaming around the streets at night have something to do with it. I resent myself for ever wanting to work in such an unenthusiastic workplace. Go to hell, St. Remorius Hospital, and adios, Ash Pines. Sincerely, Dr. Sunderland. Jeez, someone wasn't happy. Things that roam around at night? Just, just vaguely throwing that one out there. Oh, it's you. Back to see Miss Torre. Actually, I'd like to book an appointment with the doctor. Whatever floats your boat, hun. Fill out this form and take a seat. The doctor will see you shortly. So I can, I can see him this very same day? That's allowed? Briatina? The doctor will see you now. Finally! What was taking him so long? I'm the only one here. He's the only doctor in Ash Pines. Please, be a little patient. Very funny. <laughs> it kinda is funny. <laughs> I'm into it. Uh, hello? Ah, yes, Bria! I'll be with you in a minute. Oh, he's a little, she's got some crazy goggles going on there. Sorry about that. Now, what seems to be the problem? Uh, nothing. I'm fine. Then why book an appointment if you're fine? I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions about the Summerfield case. Strange. Are you with the police? I'm a reporter from out of town. A reporter? Can you just give me a moment? Please wait outside. I'll, I'll call you back in when I'm ready. Sure. Sounds like he's just trying to get rid of you. You can come out now. Some sort of ghoul? No. <laughs> be careful with that one, Doctor. She can't be trusted. I'm always careful, sweetheart. Maybe after she's gone, we can have some more fun. What is this hospital? They're just in here banging all day long and not actually helping anyone? Depends if I have time after lunch. You'd better run along now. Don't want us getting caught. By who? 
This hospital's as dead as a graveyard. Now that there's a reporter in town, that may change. Whatever you say, Lynch. Gee, what happened to her? Don't mind her, she's just upset about her hours again. Now, about your case. You know, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Waiting for what? For someone to finally investigate this tragedy. So please, ask away. Why so eager to help me? Because for the last 20 years, I believe we've all been told a lie. The police seem to be so ignorant in thinking this was done by a single person. Multiple involved? So you think there were more? No, I don't. I don't understand. I don't think she was killed by a someone, Miss Tina, but by something. Something. What, like an animal or a machine? A machine? Hmm, interesting. What is? Did you know that all wounds were of perfect size, shape, and depth? My mentor sees himself as somewhat of a perfectionist. I find it hard to believe that he would lie over details this precise. So what does this mean? Whatever murdered the woman did it too perfectly for human error. Either she fell on a bed of knives or was stabbed by a wall of blades. Either one of those seems like it wouldn't create very consistent wounds. But now you mention a machine. I, I, I didn't want to bring it up earlier. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm presuming people aren't going to watch this if they haven't seen Just Ignore Them. I'm pretty sure there's a creature that has like a bunch of tentacles that like end in knives. I think that's part of that game. Can I see the autopsy report? I would love to see the report myself. It's somewhere in this hospital. Don't you have access to those files? I do, but the report's been missing for some time. Perhaps on purpose. Tell me, Miss Tina, are you good at hide-and-seek? Of course I am. <laughs> why, why be so confident in that? Good, because that report needs seeking out. I'll do, I'd do it myself, but there's too many nurses to bang at this hospital. <laughs> there's too much at stake, could tarnish my name. I'm the last doctor in Ash Pines. These people need me. Why so much trouble over a cold case? As I said before... We are being lied to, not by the police or the media, but by the very citizens of Ash Pines. Something's going to happen to this town. Something big. Something devastating. But I'm not sure what. How do I get it? I, the records room is on the second floor. You'll need to find a way in there. Presumably you have keys to these doors. <laughs> There's like... You have access to this whole hospital. I can get you not wanting to get involved in a murder case because it looks bad on a doctor or whatever. I don't... The, the loose explanation is good enough for me. But, like, physically looking around the hospital should be an easy thing to do. It may be best to wait until nightfall, but you'd possibly need a disguise. Oh, and whatever you do, please stay out of the basement. Do you want to elaborate on any of that? Good luck. All right, we'll try. I don't get paid enough for the... Bria! Huh? So, how'd it go? It went... Fine, I, I think he's on our side. That's great news. But there's a problem. We may have found your autopsy, but it's missing somewhere in the hospital. It's the opposite of finding something. So, how do we find it? Well... Dr. Lynch seems quite eager for me to find it. He wants to read it himself. Let's go find it now. I don't think being arrested is going to help us find it. It's probably best if I go, but I'll need some sort of disguise. <laughs> the, you're, being in a disguise doesn't make a difference whether you get caught or not. It doesn't matter how you look. If you get caught, you're still going to be doing something you shouldn't. Oh my gosh, I have just the thing. Meet me at my place. Here's the address. Okay? I have a bad feeling about this. I, I, I guess we'll go to her apartment. This must be the place. Fancy. I'm gonna check this fuse box. It's for some reason openly available outside. Thought I would just take a quick look-see. 
Presumably it's the one door that looks different. No, incorrect. Right. The only one I can interact with. I hope this is the right apartment. Hello? Bria, please, come in. The door is unlocked. Maybe we should have traveled here together? Um, hello? I'm in the bedroom. Just make yourself at home. Okay. Who's a pretty bird? You are. Yes, you. What's its name? Who? Oh, the bird. His name is Nacho. Ooh, ooh, he's got his wings out. Who's a pretty boy? You are, Nacho. Ah, found it. Here you are. Try it on. What is it? It's a nurse's outfit. You're a nurse? Me? No. It's an old Halloween costume. But is it like an accurate nurse? Or like a slutty nurse? It looks just like the ones they wear at the hospital. Okay, uh, where can I change? You can use my bedroom if you'd like. It's a little tight. I mean, this is a small town with like one doctor and one nurse and one receptionist. I think someone would notice. I'm not sure if this is an actual Halloween costume. How does it look? Oh my gosh, you look super cute. And super sexy too. It's a, it's a little tight. It fits perfectly. This definitely isn't a Halloween costume. So, what's the plan? Dr. Lynch said it could be in the records room, so I should start there. Is there anything I can do? Mm, I could use a distraction. A distraction. This outfit's not going to fool them for long. A distraught patient may give me a little more time. I think I can handle that. Good. I'm planning to sneak in around 9 o'clock. Be there by then. In the meantime, I need to find Jason. He should be back at the motel by now. Probably could have changed back at your place if this is how you're planning na to navigate the day. No problem. Do you want to change first? Oh, I guess you have to try it on. Fair enough. I don't think I can take this off. Besides, it's getting late anyway. I'll see you later. Can I, like, root around her apartment a bit? Uh, Nacho... Hey there, big guy. Can we talk? <laughs> Can't. Cannot. But rooting around, playing with the sinks, whatever this, like, I don't know, computer is in their bathroom. <laughs> Can't interact with any of that. I guess I'll be on my way. I'm surprised, actually, by the length of this tape one. I saw it tweeted about by Stranga and then mentioned on Alpha Beta Gamer, and they indicated it was like an hour. I'm back. Get any shots? Uh, yeah, I got it. Whoa, mama. I don't I didn't know it was my birthday. Shut up, you. It's for tonight. This just keeps getting better and better. <sighs> no, you dummy. I'm breaking into the hospital to steal that autopsy report. Oh, a disguise. Gotcha, babe. Don't you think it's a, a little revealing? I mean, can't you do up the top buttons? Unfortunately, no. Where did you get it from? Maggie gave it to me. Maggie, eh? Don't you go getting any ideas now. Once this is over, she can have it back. Anyway, I'm gonna need your help tonight. Sure, babe, what do you need me to do? I need a lift for starters. It's hard to move in the dress. Also, if things go sour, we'll need a quick getaway. We're stealing a piece of paper, not robbing a bank, Bia. It's still illegal, and I want to stay away from prison while we're here. I noticed there's a loading dock around the back side of the hospital. I can probably sneak out that way, so just wait there. Okay, babe. Let's hope this works. Well, here goes nothing. Gosh, this dress is riding up... Oh, let's just get this over with. <laughs> that, like, I don't know how long ago nurses stopped dressing like that and started just wearing scrubs. I feel like it was like a ways ago. I'm going to talk to the receptionist because I think it's funny, not because I think it's wise. <laughs> hmm? Is she just that inattentive? Hi, I'm the new girl. About time you showed up, I could use an assistant. Convenient. Sure, what do you want me to do? I need you to answer the phones for me. Oh, okay, what do I say? Nothing, just hang up after you call the guy on the other end an asshole. Why? Because apparently my car's extended warranty is about to expire. 
I even offered the guy a date if he stopped calling me. But doesn't that sound important? Honey, I drive a Vespa. <laughs> on second thought, maybe you're too inexperienced to handle this. What is going on? Why would I... These are different jobs and what, what is going on? <laughs> they may need extra hands in geriatrics. I'll give them a call. You'll need a key card to get through the locked doors. All staff must carry one. I kind of wonder if it was a joke. That whole interaction was a joke. Say cheese. Gee, you kind of smiled, honey. I'll have your card ready soon. In the meantime, you should familiarize yourself with the place. Don't want to get lost on your first night. I guess I could try and check in on the doctor. Excuse me, sweetie. You can't go in there. Where's the doctor? I need a doctor. <sighs> go, damn it. Probably god damn it. Can I help you, sir? That depends. Can you stop death? For you, sir? Unfortunately not. Then I would like to see a doctor immediately. Wait a minute. Meg. Achoo! Uh, you see how sick I am? Stop with all these distractions and get me a doctor. <laughs> this is Maggie's attempt at being an unruly patient. Seems like she got immediately busted. Honey, can you see if the doctor's in? I'm gonna try and calm down old man Jenkins here. Oh, so maybe it is fooling them? Sure. An old man disguise? Really, Maggie? Why not even an old lady? Like, wh why? <laughs> What's this? To whom this may concern, I left my spare key to the padlock in the basement. If the power goes out, hopefully not for a third time this month, start the backup generator. The computer system won't work without power, so it is crucial to run that generator if need be. P.S. Stay away from the room directly next to the elevator. It's none of your concern. Don't go to the basement. But if you do go to the basement, don't go to the room. <laughs> it's a lot of rules being layered together here. Nothing special. Filing cabinet. Back corner in which to do some naughty business. <laughs> Can we talk to Maggie? Did you find it yet? No, still searching. Oh, right. How's the dress holding up? Like a wedgie's best friend. Jeez, it's tight. Oh, oh my, I, I, uh, it's fine. Just, let's just get this over with. I gotta go. I guess, down to the basement? Ooh, but only if the lights go out though. I need a key card to access the basement and I'm not staff, can't, can't do it yet. The same cleaning lady? Huh? Uh, weren't you the same janitor from the motel? Hmm, and? Wait, don't I know you? I, I don't think so. How did you know I work at the motel? I, I, I checked in last week. My, my house was being sprayed for bugs. Ugh, this town is a massive bug problem. I understand your pain, hun. I'm, I'm fine, thanks. Is that pine I smell? That's the floor cleaner. It's a lot better than the hospital's natural odors. I better get back to it. These floors won't clean themselves. They might. Who knows what kind of crazy supernatural things are going on. If I inspect... Excuse me, can you unlock this? Why? Some nurses can steal my chemicals again? Bah! Besides, I lost the key and my spare is back at the motel. <laughs> well, that's pretty sloppy of you. I just wanted to see if, like, the prince or whatever was in there again. This must be the records room, and yep, it's locked, all right. No keycard access. It looks like it takes a key, but where would it be? Well, this is a fruitless venture so far. To the basement? I'm guessing I can't. Gotta go talk to her to get my, my, my card. No? Is that not what I need to do? I guess I, uh, I'll keep rooting around things. Oh, use the printer maybe. No, I can't. I can't like print my card out. Oh, it's a note and a key card. It says backup generator. Come to mama. So I had to interact with it, not just look at it. So now, you there, honey? Yes, your card's ready. Just one more thing before I give it to you. I'll need your name, sweetie. 
uh, 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 my name. It's pff, there's no need to be shy. It's not gonna care either way. I'm not gonna care. It's uh, I, I uh, Valentine. Well, Miss Valentine, welcome to Saint Memoria's Hospital. Th thanks. What if the real new girl shows up? Don't mention it. No, really, I don't care. Head up to the elevator to geriatrics. See if the nurses up there need a hand. Okay, no, no. Oh, the lights are going out. Oh, what was that? Oh, not again. Whoa, what again? Power's about to drop out again. It's the fourth time in a month. God, I hate this place. Be a sweetie and go start up the backup generator before the power's knocked out. Take the elevator down to the basement. Sure. Thanks, hun. Well, after all that fuss about not going down here, there goes the power. No one gave me, like, a flashlight or anything? <laughs> now, where's the generator? It seems like, uh, I'd be a little sketch down here without anything. Oh, jeez. Just looping through the inventory. So, how do you turn on... There we go. Looks a little more complex than I was expecting. Now that I have access to the basement, I can leave through here if things go sour. Well, great, great news. I don't actually want to leave. I was kind of just double checking on things. Strange door. I did acquire something basement-y related, didn't I? I guess not yet. H Hello? Is anyone down here? I guess it was nothing? There it is again. It's coming from in here. Who, who's there? Oh, that was coming from in the door. M my name's Bria. Who's this? Bria. What a lovely name. I, I don't really have a name. They just call me Whisper. Whisper? Who's that? Those who dwell above. The hospital? It, is that where I am? It certainly doesn't look like a hospital. How did you get stuck in here? I'm just about as clueless as you are, Bria. I've been in here for as long as I can remember. Why would they keep you in here? Are you dangerous? I, I don't know. I might be. Can you unlock this door? I was about to ask you the same thing. I'm sorry, I, I don't have a key. Wait, I have a key, but it's not for this door. I'll slide it under for you. The pine-scented key. It doesn't fit here. I'm not sure what it's for. I found it in the drain pipe above my bed. It smells like pine. Pine? What a strange smell for a key. I hope this helps you, Bria. I'll come back for you once I'm done, okay? That sounds good, Bria. I look forward to your return. Spooky. Weird shit. <laughs> I am wondering if I'm not going to find the records at all in this tape one. I keep, I keep wondering, like, they, since they titled it tape one, I know that the full story won't be given within this playthrough here. But I kind of want to, like, know what the cutoff's going to be. Hey! What are you doing over there? N nothing. Good. <laughs> you nurses are always stealing my supplies. Don't think I'm not watching you. Excuse me, can you unlock that? What? Oh, oh, so I, do I just have to like give you the key then? Because I was kind of just going to do this on my own. Uh, pine scented key. Really? You don't want to just like give it to her? I guess I'll go deal with the records first. Wait, I don't have a key card? There we go. Mm, no, it doesn't have a key card access. Well, now I'm stuck. <laughs> do I need to do something to maybe lure her away? Uh, okay, I can talk to Maggie. I have an idea. I'll need another distraction. Oh, right. What did you have in mind? I need you to make a mess. The janitor on the second floor would rat me out if she saw me enter the utility room. Just leave it to me. Stand back. Just gonna puke on command or something? Wait, no way. Is that actually what just happened? 
That's disgusting, Maggie. It's fake. It's just beans and canned fruit. Why did you have that? Uh, oh. Well, what are you waiting for? For crying out. Janitor to main entrance, please. We have another one. Now's your chance, Bria. I think we would, like, run into the janitor on the elevator. <laughs> Seems to be the only way up and down, really. That was so gross. But predictable, but also it shouldn't have been. <laughs> it's just kind of a weird... I don't know why that felt like the right way to make a mess. I don't need this anymore. I'll leave it in the door. I guess that's helpful for her sake so she can find it later. What should I do? Uh, attempt password? Can I use like the full keyboard? I mean, I kind of can. That's yeah, that's never going to work. I, I'm just going to break it open, I think. I can't break it with my bare hands. I'll have to find something else. Oh, crap. The cigarettes? Hmm. Nothing like Whisper is going to fit. Uh, Lynch, nothing like that. And nothing else has really been flashed in front of me as being like a significant name or word. Can't interact with the pile of sludge that's been ralphed up on the ground there. I mean, I could go back to the basement and try and, and talk with this creature or whatever and see if they know the passcode to that locker. Not even. Hmm, there's a hammer in here. Could come in handy. Funny, Bria. Real funny. F funny, spelt wrong. Handy because you hold a hammer in your hand, or like you're handy if you know how to use tools? You're awfully proud of a joke that I don't think was very good. Empty bucket. Damn. Can I just start smashing locks with hammers? That would be much, much more useful for me. There's always two ways to open a lock. Here goes nothing. Great. Now I can get rid of this hammer. The hammer's not, like, spent. It doesn't have ammo. You can keep swinging it at things. Who knows what other kind of locks. In for a penny, in for a pound. You've you've disguised yourself. You're breaking and entering. You're smashing locks. Like, I don't, there, there's a lot of different things here. You might as well keep the hammer. What do we have here? Aha! Record room key. I don't need this hammer anymore. <laughs> okay, just... I, I might have done the same interaction there twice. <laughs> okay, yes, I don't think she threw away the hammer twice. That's uh, not particularly likely. Let's hope Dr. Lynch was right. I'm, I'm going to have a, like, a lot to root around in here, I think. It's a printer. It prints stuff. Well, you would hope it would, but I've never had a printer that actually performs its intended function in my life. Someone left their username in the computer. Dr. Sunderland. I think that's the one who left the note in the men's washroom that he was, like, bailing on everything. Maybe I can guess their password. Dr. Sunderland. Attempt password. Um, I, I got nothing. I... <laughs> I'll have to look around and see if there's anything I, useful. Oh my god, just let me leave. Let me leave the interaction. Nothing interesting. Well, I guess I can try and look as well. No Summerfield file. I can't interact with anything without looking first. Sheesh. Well, look first. This one's already open. Let's see. Summerfield. What the hell happened? Ah, Summerfield. It's empty. Wait, there's a note. Files have been added to digital storage. Use the computer to access patients' records. Why would you even bother keeping folders anymore? Just get rid of all the cabinets. They're no longer doing anything if you now have it all digitized. So that's why no one could find it. They were backing up the records to their database. No one found that note? This was so easy to find. <laughs> Well, let's boot her up then, shall we? Well, I have nothing to go off of to guess the password unless I go and uh, check that note one more time. See if there's anything of use in there, like a first name is about the only thing I could think to go off of. Hoping that I can actually check the... N I'm, I'm looking at the wrong note. There's so many notes. People really diligently leave notes around this hospital 
the number one form of communication. Ah, oh, good luck! It's a mess. Patients are missing. Things are stolen. Well, are they missing or are they just <laughs> digitized? Because <laughs> those are very different. Uh, unenthusiastic. Remoria, that wouldn't fit. Ash Pines, I don't think that would fit. We really shouldn't have thrown away that hammer. Should definitely try and <laughs> hammer something open. I feel like that would be uh, very likely to work exactly as we would in intend it to. I can just leave? I can just walk out the front door? Well, it doesn't do me any good, but it's an option. <laughs> I cannot continue my interacting with person in the basement still. That looks like a note on the wall, but it's not not anything I can interact with. Password won't fit. That seemed like it would have potential. Uh, I, I have nothing. There's like nothing to go off of. Or if there is, it's too obtuse. Like I'm just supposed to pull a random name from memory from like two hours of playing this game. That's not gonna happen. Well, I'll try Sunder. Because still the only thing I remotely had to, to go off of. Oh my god, there's like an exit menu button that I, I could have been using all this time. If I only knew there was the one button. Uh, nothing useful at this other computer. It just tells me whose computer it is. And again, that I would need a password to be able to, to actually access anything. No... No pass codes to be found just lying around as far as I can tell. Hmm, I also just learned there's a run button, but I can't actually run while I'm in the new nurse's uniform. Maggie? Didn't work. Maggie and presumably her dad's name are, are both Winters. But I, the best I would be able to fit here is Winter, and I don't think that, that this just has like zero chance. I'm, I'm just randomly guessing things. I gotta go hunting around some more, but I kind of feel like I've checked everywhere at this point. Trying, okay, we're trying to open the, the bay door. How do I open this thing? Ah, right here. Okay, so maybe if we hop out. Jace, back it up. I'll jump in the back. What, babe? I'm coming. Hold on. Wait, I'll be back. Uh, Bria, I can hear sirens. Oh, shit. I... So what, I didn't actually access anything up there? Maybe I maybe I'll come back to it later, I don't know. I, I was so focused on trying to solve that. Hello? M Mr. Whisper? It's a, a mister. Well, if you can hear me, we'll come back for you, okay? Bria, let's go already. Okay, I'm coming. Just as soon as I'm... There we go. <laughs> Just really paused. Took a, a sweet time getting going there. Oh, freaky. I look forward to meeting you, Miss Tina. Oh, can you please stay still, Bria? I can't. I have to pee so badly. Who's a pretty bird? You are. Is that what everyone does when they see a little cute little bird? Got it. You should be free to... Ooh, just no time to waste. I guess she really had to go. Yeah, that's why she said so. <laughs> so, how did it go? Did you get the report? We sure did. You mean I did? That's what I meant, babe. I can't wait to see it after all these years. It's really something a lot more gruesome than you described. Really? Here you go. Waited so long. So what was the thing we couldn't get access to on the computer? That was the Summerfield file. I don't know. This is like in incomplete. Uh, we just didn't... I don't know. We At least we got this. Oh my. So Vice was telling the truth. You know, that still doesn't clear your father, Maggie. I, I know. But it gives me hope. And that's all I need right now. So, what do we do now? I think we're going to head back to the hotel for now. Start planning our first report to send back to the station? Can we meet up tomorrow at the diner? Sure. Just expect us to be a little late. 
Sure thing. Well, Jason, let's go. Aye, Captain. Please never do that again. <laughs> Unless you're willing to climb up on top of the table and give me a proper Dead Poet Society salute. So, I know, I know. I'm starting to question if this story's worth it. We need it, Pia. We need a good story. There's something that's bothering me. Back in the hospital basement. Yeah, about that. Who are you talking to? I think someone is living in the basement. Really? Someone's living in the basement? Yeah, that's what I just said. He said his name was Whisper. Cool. I love code names. Jason, this is serious. I think he's being held there against his will. Like, some sort of evil science experiment? <laughs> oh my god, did the van just start on fire? What the hell's going on on the side there? Maybe. Anyway, you hungry? <laughs> like, what is that? Am I crazy? Was that not there a second ago? You must be a mind reader, babe. I was thinking tacos. Sure, whatever. Yes! Oh, Bia. Hmm? Got any ideas on what we should do next? I'm thinking we should cut to the chase and pay a visit to the source. And who or what would that be? The place of the murder. I don't know what that light and smoke was on the side of the van there. End of tape. Ooh. I would say the like pacing and storytelling has notably improved and I, like I, like I said before Stranga's art is just like leagues ahead of where it was back with the original just ignore them uh, so it's really interesting just seeing the way this world has slowly unfolded sometimes sometimes I think it's all a little too complex for its own good but there's so much intrigue and like neat character designs and enough reasons to keep coming back to this world and wanting to see more of it. I'm really excited to see what comes with the next tapes because uh, just when you hit play here, it's very clear this is intended to be a little contained trilogy. We have Ashina the Red Witch that's supposed to be coming out quite soon, I believe. And there's that Ash Pines game that I think was like incomplete or something, but it still presumably adds to the lore because it's still made publicly available, so it, it must be considered canon. Oh, when the day comes to thread all this together, when all these games are actually released, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a hell of a project. Guys, this game is available right now for like a couple bucks. Stranga never charges much for their games. There's clearly so much work being put into it. This one right now is on itch only. Go check that out. Support this creator. You can go to Steam and buy like all of their games as a collection for a few dollars. Like it's absolutely worth it and it's the only way we're going to get the completed story is if they make enough money to keep making games, you know. So absolutely, please go check that out. Please show your support. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon.